Hello everyone, back again, um, this time to show you the progress that I've made on this um, journal. So this, you would have seen, if you'd, if you'd seen it, then I, I put a video up about, well, a few days ago of this one and another one, um, but I wasn't happy with it. And yeah, so I I re um I I did some changes, made some changes to it, and um, I really like it now. I'm really happy with it, and um, it just goes to show that if you're not happy with something, change it. You know what's to stop you from doing that. So um yeah, I hope you like it. Um, I think it's finished. I I can't see me doing any more to it at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna check that I'm in frame yet. So yeah, I'm really happy with it and it's very pretty and as I said, I have used printables in this but I have tried to um, use other things as well, vintage pages, book pages and things like that. Um, probably less of my own artwork in this one than others but um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So I hope you like it. It's very, very, a very pretty one filled with lots of vintage um, bits and bobs and of course, as I've said, the cover is vintage, um, it's a beautiful fabric, really pretty, soft, very soft fabric and a lovely design on it. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the uh, with the cover. I made it from scratch, um, so it's um, board. And then I've included some of the vintage laces that I have or, um, yeah, so yeah, I'll just check I'm in frame again, yep, yeah, okay. So um, it has four um, signatures um, sewn in with um, the three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, this time I've used um, hmm, embroidery thread. So, and you can see them here. Um, so I've left them hanging for whoever gets this journal um, can do whatever they want. They can cut them off or they can add things to them. So um, yeah, let's open up, see what's going on. <laughs> um, so you can see here, I have um, included some lace and made pockets, which um, I absolutely love this. I think it's beautiful. And yeah, I was really pleased with how it turned out. Whoops, sorry, oh, keep doing that. And then this side, I've done exactly the same. Um, you know, I made a pocket there as well. So I'm really happy with that. Very pretty. Um, vintage lace or crocheted lace. Um, and then we have a little bit of lace up here as well. A little bit of crocheted lace up here just to um, add a bit of texture. Um, I've used card to back the, um, you know, the cover page and I've used uh, two layers of this cotton fabric to um, stitch into the spine, um, stitch the um, signatures into the spine, sorry. So um, yeah, uh, a printable, the printables are all from, I believe they're all from um, Ruby and Pearl XO. Um, as I said in the previous video, I absolutely love her printables. I think they're just beautiful. Oh, actually, this, I'm not sure this was. This might have been um, an image from a book uh, that, I, that I copied. So yeah, not sure this is Ruby and Pearl actually thinking about it. I'll just lift that up so you can have a look. It's very pretty, but pale, very pale. So I think it's from a vintage book of mine. Um, just some washi tape um, down the bottom there and at the top and then we have so I have a an old Sizzix um, die cutter and I'd never used it actually um, I had it for quite a while it was given to me and I really hadn't used it I hadn't had a use for it previously but um, it's a very old one of those old ones one of probably the first ones that are red and they sort of a pump action with the handle rather than the pulling um, sort of um, sorry um, yeah turning the handle but anyway I, I bought um, 
a di uh, sorry an embossing folder and I thought I'd try it so yeah and it worked really well I'm really pleased with it so I thought I'd do some embossing on there, there and make a little pocket and I also did a little um, journaling card um, with some of the embossing and some more images there so that's really pretty I like that and then here we've got the um, ruby and pearl for sure and again the card that I made um, a journaling card um, with some um, papers from I think they're from Hobbycraft um, some dyed hand dyed papers and then a ruby and pearl image there and then this gorgeous vintage lace there and then again vintage lace there I'm just gonna check <sighs> sorry I'm just really paranoid that I'm not in frame there we go I'll try not to move the book around um so yeah uh there's lots of writing space in this um the papers are all recycled from various books that I've had and um, papers that I've had over the years so they're all recycled um so there may be a little bit of shabbiness to them but they're all you know usable for artwork for writing for um creating in this book whatever the recipient wants to do um, again this is just some rubbings that I did a while ago and uh, recycled it into this book um, so yeah I mean whoever gets the book can do some artwork on there cover them over whatever that they, they want to do to it um, this is some um, obviously some um, vintage um, music paper and then some packaging paper which splits like that and this can be ripped out in pieces and used in the book or it can be left with and do artwork on it. Um, some graph paper with um, a little um, stamped image there um, just stuck on there on vellum. Oh tracing paper actually. Um, more writing paper, some beautiful vintage lace uh, and um, I left the prize tag on um, and I thought well it could be quite pretty if I covered it over with some pretty fabric so yeah covered that over and made a little tag um, again this is from a book a vintage book that I took photocopy and again it's very pale but it's pretty and I imagine the recipient sort of doing their own artwork on here or writing over it or whatever they want to do but I think it's really pretty um, some of this um, yeah I think I established that this is construction paper children from children's paper and I just added the word cherish there of oh, the definition of cherish and a stamp there floral stamp um, this this is new this is I added this recently um, it's some paper that I bought um, so I went scrabbling around um, looking for bargains at craft shops and I found these sheets of paper 12 by 12 with um, lovely designs on and they were 10p each so bargain um, so I've cut some up and used it there and I've added this little bit of fabric um, on the side there it's a little tab I've tried to add lots of fabric in here. Um, there's a pocket there using the same um, paper and yeah I haven't added anything in there yet but, um, and then some more of that graph paper and then I you might remember or you may not but this was just plain packing paper before and so I added some of that paper and a little bit of lace on the side there so it's a pocket. Um, and that's really pretty as well that's ruby and pearl again more um, vintage um, music page and some a little fabric tag tab rather um, and this is a um, fold out with some more of that printing on the uh, rubbing that could be um, you know worked on worked over whatever i think that's really pretty ruby and pearl image so i guess you could call this a ruby and pearl <laughs> journal um 
So Ruby and Pearl has a YouTube channel and she also has an Etsy shop and she makes the most beautiful, um, very feminine, very pretty uh, journals. absolutely love them. Um, and if you look back at some of my videos, you'll notice that, you know, my style is quite different, but I really wanted to have a, a go at making something pretty. And um, yeah, I'm hooked, really. I'll probably make a few pretty ones this time around um but you know try to keep my own style as well and in include lots of different things that i have in my stash um which is different to everybody else's obviously i don't have an awful lot of the um you know everybody has these antique letters and you know french letters and things like that which is lovely absolutely beautiful but i don't have a lot of that so um i use what i've got so a lot more writing pa um, space, as I said, and uh, old vintage map pages, um, little clip there, more packing paper. Oh, sorry, that shouldn't be in there. Or oh, maybe it should. Maybe I need to add that. Um, that's Ruby and Pearl design again. Um, I might have, I probably thought I would add that, but. Um, and then more plain paper there. It is actually really good quality paper, um, even though it is, I've had it a long time. It's good quality, it's nice cartridge paper quite smooth and um, so you know artwork can be done on there an old vintage book nature book um, I like that black and white um, image and I love the colour of the uh, the paper as well um, just some washi coming down here um, I mean I, I didn't intend to hide scenes you know I'm not really that doesn't bother me but I just thought it looked pretty and especially because we've got such a pretty page on this side um so yeah i just added that and then we have a tag here or a journaling card that's a tag with some vintage lace um this is um from a, a, a fabric from something that i've had for a very long time and i decided to start using it um it's very old uh, antique quilt um some little um watercolor um, oh, I forget what they're called now, but anyway, little watercolour dots that I added, and then I've stamped over that with a gold, um, some gold ink, and then some ruby and pearl page, and some book page there, and then I just did a little collage on the back there, and again, that's ruby and pearl here, um, hand dyed paper here, the same as this, and then um, washi, and then this book page behind that. I'm happy with this. <clears throat> in the previous video you would have seen it on another page and I wasn't happy with it so I decided to move it and I think it looks really nice on here. This is hand dyed paper. It's um, I've used I believe elderberries or uh, blackberries um, to do that and it's, I, I really like the colour. Um, Ruby and Pearl here. I've created a tuck and I've added some just some papers to play with. Uh, some vellum, a printed vellum, and some book page there, the right one. So just something to play with. I've added a few little bits and bobs like this in here. I love this, I think it's really pretty. This is um, Ruby and Pearl again, and I've added some fabric here. Um, all vintage. Oh, actually, the, um, the fabric behind is vintage, and the... Um, Lace is antique. The obviously this well, it may not be obvious, but anyway, this is um, muslin, and this is um, yeah, it's new muslin, and a lovely cream colour. So just a nice little cluster there, and uh, um, obviously I backed this onto tissue paper, which is really nice. And this is coffee or tea dyed. I think it's tea dyed paper. A little. Uh, this is just a little doodle drawing um, that I added to hide the um, staple. Another pocket here with a tag. Um, I made this tag a while ago um, using the same paper that I added for a pocket and so it went really well. really love this tag actually. I'd love to keep it for myself but I think it goes really well in this box so there we go. Um, yeah and some vintage book page there. Um, this, I did this just because there was a rip here and I thought it looked nice and 
went well with the paper with the colours and again a little flip there with some ruby and pearl design paper there. I like the um, you know the grading of the colours um, in this dyed page as well this is the blackberry or black <coughs> sorry excuse me um, elderberry dyed paper again more graph paper and this is um, from a jelly print that I did um, and I included it in the book um, if you look back you'll see it was there before and it was one of those that I considered um, taking out but actually I, I quite like it so I'm leaving it um, for whoever gets the book to do with whatever they will but uh, I think it's quite nice got some nice detail on it it's a little stamp there and more pages to write and artwork and whatever little tuck here um, and again this paper is quite fragile it's quite old but it's sort of 70s I believe maybe even earlier um, yeah and then there's another um, this is a journaling card nice paper nice card on the back really pretty blue color and then gorgeous all ruby and pearl and then some lovely vintage lace there and a ruby and pearl um, papered pocket um, it's actually stuck onto card to make the po pocket nice and um, stable and then we have a little tab here <coughs> with various bits of uh, fabric and the same this is this um, so I'm not sure where this came from I, I think I might have taken a copy from a book and I think so but I created a little tuck here and put some more of that embossed paper in there and a, another journaling card um, and this is um, I'm not sure where that came from could be ruby and pearl and then um, this is just uh, printed with gold um, ink a bit of washi and a nice bit of lace there so, and they just sit in there little tuck there um, yeah this is um, a real flower that I put inside the envelope um, and again I haven't covered this you know for the recipient to do whatever they want to to it I think that needs a little bit of a clean there a bit of ink, um, glue um, so yeah a pretty little flower in there um, pressed flower um, more washi down here um, just to again decorate it and then this is new again this is um, from a, a very old book actually I think it's um, actually I'm not sure but it's an old book very old book hang on I'll just put it here so check so it's called the selection from modern poets and it's 1927 <clears throat> the paper is really nice it's um it's very good quality uh really nice paper anyway there's a nice poem on there quite like that so i popped that on there another pocket um again i mentioned this is hand this is made from um papers that i've sandwiched together so there's sort of uh, three layers of paper um packing paper and then um, probably well i'm not sure what this is it's a tissue paper with glue on i think and then I sandwiched them together to create this um, various different I used I did lots of experiments basically and I this was some of the paper that was left and I quite liked it so I made a pocket and then a lovely tag with some lavender on there um, this is um, from a book of Japanese wallpaper and fabrics and then more pretty paper at the top there and the card on the back and again, I've included another tab, um, really pretty fabric. Um, seen this. I'm tracing paper and then I made this little tuck and I'm actually happy with it. I wasn't happy with it when I first did it, but I'm happy with it now. Um, so I quite like that. Lo loads of paper again, center of one of the signatures. Um, more paper to play with um, 
nice little court there with some um, an image of some leaves, autumn leaves. Um, that's lovely quality paper actually. <clears throat> um, I added some washi there and some really pretty um, mm, voile is it? Voile fabric? I'm not sure how it's pronounced but I just love the colour of this and this at the top the stitching detail. Um, and ordinarily I would usually put something underneath it but I thought it would be nice for whoever gets the book to do something with that. I really like it though, it's really pretty. And then this is um, something that I embroidered a while ago. Uh, this is hand dyed um, cotton fabric. Um, I think I used turmeric for it. In fact, I'm, I'm certain I did. And then a little hand embroidered. And as you can see, I'm not the best of embroiderers, but I had a go and thought I'd add it on here just as a little flip. <coughs> Um, from a vintage book, let me cut it. And then this lovely paper that again, this paper was from the um, Tempe sheets, the 12 by 12 sheets I got from a craft store. Um, so I definitely looked out there because <laughs> I love it, it's really nice paper. And then we've got a lovely um, vintage lace um, tab. And we've got a pocket made with the same paper and again another tag um, using the same very old antique um, fabric and some um, tulle and then this is ruby and pearl and then a little um, linen tab and it's more of that writing paper. And, uh, um, yeah, this, again, I used some of that paper that I've used before, so anything that was left over I tried to use in the book, and I just thought I'd make a pretty little cluster, collage, whatever. Um, added some more fabric and lace, and then did some stamping there. A pocket here, nothing in it, but um, really pretty um, papers there. And... Uh, nature study page from that same book that uh, has got gorgeous creamy colouring, I really like that. I left this in because I do like it, um, but again, whoever gets the book can change that if they want to. Um, here's a little envelope um, that I embossed, a tiny little envelope, and then there's a little piece of paper in there um, that I took from the ruby and pearl paper um, so yeah it goes in there so I like that and then there's a tab here um, pretty pink and um, I think that's hand dyed fabric there and then another scent this is um, cartridge paper <clears throat> as I said on the, on the last video um, this was from um, just a workshop that I took part in and we were just splashing pink paint around for it as a, um, just being playful with paint and it was um, a springtime so it was meant to be blossom and it was just to sort of warm us up a little bit, get some paint splattered on there so I added it into here. Um, this is another flip out and this is taken from a vintage book, um, it's a photocopy, love the colours and uh, I thought this washi went really well with it, so really pretty, love this, really pretty. Um, again, a water, a, sorry, a, a photocopy from a, a book, it's not vintage, um, but yeah, nice image of roses there, a bit of um, tape there on there. Um, I left this in, I wasn't sure what to do with this, but it does have, you can probably just see it, I don't know, um, so it has building, you can maybe see it has buildings within that, but um, it was basically experimenting with jelly prints, I'll just check them back in, um, yeah. So basically just um, 
uh, experimenting with jelly prints. Um, there's a little flip here, just some tissue paper and some washi again. Little cluster of um, paper and fabric and then underneath is a little gold, I don't know if you can see that, um, print um, stamping. Uh, Another flip out here with some washi on both sides, and that's from one of my vintage books. Um, and um, yeah, just some more papers there. And then I created some of the vintage paper, I created a, a tag with some um, fabric there, and then some. Uh, diary page here uh, there to write on and that goes in there so just some little bits of paper to play with and another little tag and that's the end um, so I hope you like it it's a fairly chunky book um, which I'm pleased about so it's got a lot in it quite heavy um, and yeah I hope you like it as much as I do and um, it will be going for sale in my Etsy shop um, so yeah um, thank you for watching and um, it's really good to be back I'm really enjoying myself doing some more books and uh, yeah as I said I really in the end I found my mojo <laughs> again um, and I managed to finish this which I'm really pleased about and I do really like it so yeah so thank you for watching, have a lovely day and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.